Wow, so now sadly it's time to say goodbye. We had an absolute feast of a breakfast just right now and now the guys drove me to a good hitchhiking spot. And yeah, guys, thank you so much. It has been incredible and now I have new brothers and friends, Kurdish, Kurdish brothers yes. in Agri. <laughs> I love you. I love you too, guys. See you. I'm having a really hard time to process all of these crazy things that are happening to me. And that I would, you know, party and drink beer and I wouldn't imagine doing that in, in Turkey because I thought all the people were, you know, most of the people were Islamic. But turns out here in the East a lot of Kurdish people live and they drink alcohol and they are not that religious or not, not religious at all, I'm not sure. And yeah, crazy days. And now today I try to go into Iran, <laughs> which is so exciting for me. It was my dream for, for like forever to go to Iran. You know, to visit Persia, that's like bucket list. And it's about, I think, 150 kilometers or something. And yeah, I'm trying to do that today and cross the border today and see what Iran is like. And one of the guys even gave me this t-shirt. <laughs> he insisted that I take it and wear it right now. He insisted, I didn't want it because my backpack is heavy enough, I think. But he was so persistent that I had to give up and... <sighs> crazy people, crazy things, but I love them, <laughs> it's crazy. So, five minutes later, I meet some construction worker yes. um, offering me water and... Nice to meet you guys. <laughs> Have a good day. So now I'm in the last major Turkish city and in about 30 kilometers is the Riyanin border and in the back here you can see the massive volcanic mountain called Arak and yeah it's just crazy what kind of dominance it has and now I have to change to long pants because apparently in Iran it's forbidden to wear short pants like I do right now and yeah, it's gonna be yeah pain in the ass because it's so hot. It's again close to 40 degrees in the shade, and I think there's no not gonna be any difference in Iran. So this is gonna be crazy. Why Iran? Why? I really can't understand it. Why ban short pants? So I just met Burhan. Burhan, my Doan. name is Doan. Doan. Burhan, Doan. hello. Doan. Doan. And Don is a I am a doctor. doctor. Professional doctor. medical school. Good. And you teacher? Yes. Ah, teachers. What you teach? Sports. 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 Sports teachers. Sports teachers. Good. <laughs> Ah, finally, now I'm officially in Iran. This is the border, this is like the first town. And I'm trying to catch my first ride. But as far as I see, there are only taxis driving into town, so it's gonna be maybe difficult. Maybe I just walk, it's not that far. And yeah, the, the customs lady actually, they, she holds my passport in, in her hands for like literally 15 minutes 
making calls. I didn't know what the problem was. Maybe my other visas for Pakistan and China. I have no idea. So now I'm really glad to be here. And yeah, to be here in time also because two days later my visa would be expired. And yeah, let's see what Iran has to offer. Borders in general are a horrible place, I think. So much, you know, sketchy guys all wanting, all want to exchange your money and really, yeah, aggressive guys. And also maybe, maybe borders are the place with the most thieves and, you know, pickpockets and stuff. So you always have to really, really be careful. Uh, so now I met a bunch of more people <laughs> and he took me into a shopping center, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 And you have a store here, you told me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. Yeah, I'm going to go to the house. 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 So now we are in the back room of the store that he owns. And yeah, he's cooking up some really, really nice smelling food. I'm really, okay. I'm really excited about the food. Such a... <laughs> Thank you. Oh, <laughs> thank you. So now, time to try this delicious looking... It's like eggs and a little bit tomato and oil with this uh, Rhiannon flatbread. Really, really excited about all of this. <laughs> he owns a very fancy fashion store. Fashion man. <laughs> So now we are driving to a little viewpoint, I think. Huh? Yeah. Really, really exciting first day here in Iran. Oh, <laughs> shit! <laughs> <laughs>
Ja, fein. Die kann okay. tanzen. Guck mal, das macht sie ganz met. gerne. <lacht> das ist auch eine Begrüßung, ne? Uh, ja. Yeah. Yeah. I just met two Germans with their epic adventure mobile. <lacht> And they have been two months in Iran. Yes. Crazy. <lacht> The people, in, the people in Iran are überall. So, very so good. good. Yes, very, very good. good. The people. Mm -hmm. people. And the nature. And, kann man sagen, and the culture. Culture. Yes, culture. Genau. Yes. Ich bin nicht gut in Englisch. <laughs> nice to meet you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so we drove up even further and now we are like really high up. I have no idea how high. Maybe 3,000 meters or something like this. Yes. <laughs> Look at this picnic spot. Yeah. Okay. This is insane. <laughs> <laughs> Life is good right now. We're just chilling here with a great view. Great friends. First day in Iran. <laughs> Very good day today. Oh, <laughs> good. What an intense first day in Iran. I'm so tired now. It's crazy. This is my hotel room. The guys organized it for me for $10. Imagine this. This is like a whole apartment. It's crazy. Look at this. This is like the living room. Air conditioning, TV, everything. Then you get like a kitchen area of everything, you know. Here like chill area, oven, bathroom over there. How huge this place is, it's crazy. Here three beds actually. This is crazy. But so far I really really like Iran, but it's really challenging here because really no one speaks Basically, yeah, some guys speak English, but the ones who don't speak English, they speak no English at all. They don't even understand words like home or money or, you know, basic words, international words, basically. And also, in Iran, they have right now a huge inflation. It's a really, really big problem. So every day the money gets, you know, is less worth. You know, on a money bill, the money is called Real, but when they do business, they often ask for Duman, and Duman means that you take one zero away from the real, and then you have the price in Duman. So if you see a price tag in a store, you have to be really careful if it's Duman or real, because you know one zero less or more is a huge difference. And yeah, I feel kind of not free and a little bit under pressure here because I can't wear short pants. I can't use my credit card here. I have to rely on all the money I got with me and I have to, you know, that money has to last until I reach Pakistan, hopefully. This is really, I don't know, it's pressuring me. <sighs> also, you know, the hospitality is insane here. It's out of this world, but then again, crazy rules in Iran. It's forbidden for the locals to invite you to their home. You're not allowed to stay a night in a, you know, apartment of a local. So they have really, really high punishments for that and fines. And even, you know, they have fines you like lashes, you know, you get 50 lashes or something. Are we in a fucking medieval age or what? It's, I don't know, I don't feel really free here. And then internet is really restricted. A lot of sites like Facebook, YouTube, Instagram are all blocked. I have a VPN, so that's no problem for me, but I'm, yeah, I told all the guys before I wanted to buy a SIM card so that I can use mobile internet for my phone. And even with Google Translator, no one seemed to get that I just want to buy a SIM card. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know, even though may, some people speak English, it's a really different world here and people seem to be in their own kind of world that seems to be very distant to the 
you know, Western European world that I that I live in that I know best. And yeah, it's it's really a culture shock here, I think. But I'm looking really forward to the next days. But right now, this whole adventure is really, really exhausting because I meet so many new people, I get so many new impressions every day and I have hardly time to process all of this <laughs> crazy times. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, <laughs> oh, in Turkey and in Iran they have sometimes really weird toilets, <laughs> you have to squat and do your thing, you know, and no toilet paper, they clean themselves here with water. Yeah, this is all part of the adventure. 